We're getting a look here at Zach Carlisle. Zach is another quarter finalist here at the Car Jitsu Invitational, and he's part of Team Dark Horse MMA in Dexter, Missouri. I'm here with Zach Carlisle, and uh, Zach, you what? I, this is Car Jitsu stuff. It's it's kind of brutal. What kind of prepared you for this? Well, I have four older brothers and an older sister, and let's say it gets cramped in a car, so you have to fight for every spot available. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, he has some experience. Uh, so what about what about actual, you play a lot of sports, it looks like you're pretty athletic. Yeah, I played football, baseball growing up, but uh, didn't get into combat sports until a little bit later. Okay, any wrestling? No, but I got a brother, he was pretty good at wrestling, as well as a cousin who was a Division II st uh, national contender at heavyweight who okay. helped train him. Okay, so so you you didn't have wrestling in your school. You told told me earlier, right? Right. But but you had a little unorthodox training by these big you know heavyweight champ. Okay. Yeah. Well, awesome. So you're pretty prepared. You feel I'd like, like it? I'd like to think so. <laughs> okay. And uh, any kids? Uh, yeah, I got three kids. One's three, four, and a five year old. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, how? How? <laughs> well, two of them aren't biologically mine, but okay. I'm still, yeah. Okay, so three, four, and five, that's a handful. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, that's going to keep you on your toes. What, what do you do for work? I uh, work in an aluminum plant. Uh, basically, we make the aluminum from raw product. Do you like make aluminum foil? <laughs> no, uh, oh, okay. we, we send it to people who make the retail products. Okay, okay, so all kinds of things. Anything oh, aluminum. Right on. This well, car right here. Yeah, okay. Well, you're, you're qualified all, all kinds of ways. Oh, yeah. All right, good luck, man. Appreciate it. Okay, take care. His opponent is Q Davidson. Davidson is a nine and two mixed martial artist and a jujitsu practitioner, and this is his second competition at Car Jitsu. All right, I'm here with Q Davidson. This is your second time around, right? Mm -hmm. The first time was pretty good for you, but didn't didn't start up too good, did it? No, no, there was a <laughs> couple of trials, uh, but it was a good time. It was a great learning experience and super excited for the next one coming yeah. up here. So, I mean, I could see you were learning in the match, you yeah. know. So, do you feel like you you got something from that? And, absolutely, and that absolutely. Uh, being in the car was so much different than I expected it to be. Uh, just the speed and uh, the maneuverability that you had in there was a lot different than I thought. Um, so that was a great shock to have. Okay. But it turned out that I uh, ended up winning that fight. If you've seen it, that's awesome. Thank you. Appreciate the support. Great. Yes. It's uh, a great fight. If not. Watch it after this one. <laughs> Absolutely. And you, you kind of have an unfair advantage. You, you kind of let that slip last time when you were walking away. You said that you actually work inside cars like on a daily basis. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't know if anybody caught that, but I detail cars. Um, so you're very familiar with the seat sunny. belts and the console yeah. and the steering wheel and, and all that. Yeah. So you're going to use any of those things to gain an advantage over your opponent, you think? Absolutely. Okay, but you probably can't Absolutely. say specifically what it is. No, I can't reveal all my secrets. I apologize. Okay. All right, man. Well, good luck. Thank you. I appreciate it. Q Davidson. We've got one more match. We've got Q Davidson, Zach Carlisle. We're ready to go. Let's uh, do the coin toss. Q, I'm gonna let you call it in the air. Heads. It is heads. So you get your choice. Um, I'll take the driver or the passenger seat. Okay. All right. We'll go ahead and get in there and, and check it out. Okay. And um, Zach, so <laughs> you've got to see a lot of fights up leading up to this. Any surprises? Anything that you you didn't expect would happen here? It definitely seems like they're getting their heads banged a lot more than inside the cage. Yes. Yeah, well, you know, you're not on a soft mat, right? There's a lot of objects to, to hit your head on. Does that concern you? you? You okay still? No, I've been hitting the head plenty of times. Okay, right on, man. Okay, I, I never would have guessed. But, okay, good luck. Go ahead and check out the car. See what you, you can find an advantage for it. Appreciate it. All right, Q. All right, brother. You probably didn't see anything new in there. You've been in there before, right? Yeah, it's the same car uh, last time I left it. <laughs> Are you feeling a little more confident though this time? Um, as I'm far more, as just I feel more prepared. Yeah. You know, there's always, for me, there's always a, a feeling of nervousness that comes along with competing, and yeah. uh, it's one of the things that keeps me halfway in, halfway out. Right. But it's uh, it's great. Which would you like, right? Yeah, you, you I, re like I really it. enjoy um, 
the nervousness feelings. Sure. You know, I'm glad that they haven't left after my first few fights. Yeah, yeah. Well, and there's so many variables, right, in this situation that you, you know, you're, you're automatically going to have that un unsure feeling. Yeah, yeah. Right from the get go, you're in scramble mode pretty much the whole time. Awesome. There's there's so many places to, to base off of and move your position and tools to use. So all right, it's a lot of fun. Well, let's stop talking and start grappling. Here we go. All right, good luck. Let's take a look at the rules of car jitsu. The competitors begin seated with safety belts fastened. When the match starts, they unbuckle and engage using any part of the vehicle to their advantage. Points may be awarded during the match, but have no bearing on the outcome. It takes a submission to win the round at Car Jitsu Championship. If the bout is even after two rounds, we go to a third round and possibly sudden death to decide a winner. Buckle up! Hajime! And we're off. This quarterfinal matchup is underway, and it looks like Q Davidson quickly grabs the shoulder strap. He's passing it under the body of Carlisle. Okay, now he's abandoned it, and now he's working on the left arm of Carlisle. Carlisle's battling for a position here. He's got somewhat of a wrestling background. Davidson, of course, a mixed martial artist and a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Looks to be taking the back here and setting up a rear naked choke. And this is a bad situation for Zach Carlisle. As you can see, the choke is in, and now Carlisle is in trouble. He may go out here. That choke is tight, and Davidson is now forcing Carlisle into the back seat. And it's about to... Oh, and Carlisle... His head is now shoved into the back floorboard, and he is in a bad position. Tap. And there's That's your wide. tap. <laughs> the winner of round one by submission, Q Davidson. Wow. And of course, at Car Jitsu Championship, there is no break between rounds. Start round two. Only long enough buckle to switch up. positions and buckle up. And here we go, round two. And here we go. Carlisle doesn't fall for it this time. He fails to get out of his seat belt, but he did reach over and delay the exit of Davidson. And now Davidson is all over Carlisle. He's in a bad spot here. He's got a seat belt across his carotid. He's got Davidson on top of him. This is a tough situation for Zach Carlisle. Holy smokes. Carlisle's doing a decent job of defending the seat belt, but his positioning is horrible. Davidson's got a post in the back seat, and now he's looking to take the back again. Wow. Carlisle absolutely swarmed by Q Davidson in the front seat. Davidson looks to be working on that left arm. Front headlock not working out so well. You can hear the breathing of the competitors here. This is a vicious, vicious battle. Inside the car, it's getting to the point almost 83 degrees. And there's not much room to move. Almost halfway through round two, Carlisle's in a bad position here at Car Jitsu Championship. There are two rounds. If you win them both, it ends the match. So Carlisle must get a submission in the next 90 seconds or there will be no third round. Zach Carlisle fighting for the leg of Quentin Davidson, hoping to put him on his back. But unfortunately, he's got his neck locked up. Carlisle changes his mind there. Davidson with heavy, heavy pressure. Carlisle coming forward, but there's nowhere to go. They may end up in the back seat. Wow. Holy smokes. And now Davidson's got the right arm of Zach Carlisle. He's leaning outside of the car. Carlisle is in trouble, but there isn't a lot of room to position here. Holy smokes. Davids has got a great position on Carlisle. If either of these competitors touches the ground outside of the vehicle, the match will restart. But at this point, Davidson is controlling the posture. Oh my gosh! The officials are taking a real good look here. 
Zach's moving to the back and Davidson retreats. What a crazy position here. There's 20 seconds left. Zach Carlisle needs a choke. If Zach can finish the fight, we'll go to the third round. It's just inches. Yeah. Oh, we've got a reset here. 11 seconds left on the clock. Zach Carlisle will need to pull off a miracle here to get to the third round. Otherwise, Q Davidson will win this match hands down. Again, Zach Carlisle's head hit the floor and that restarts the match. So as soon as he's buckled, there will be 11 seconds of action. And I have a feeling that may not be enough for Zach Carlisle to take the win. Couldn't get my seatbelt off barely. <laughs> I had that problem last time. And here we go. How's your man? Ten seconds remaining in the match. Carlisle in desperation grabs the seatbelt. Davidson does the same. Davidson actually looking for a choke here. Two seconds on the clock. Oh. And that's going to be the end of the match. Winner. Hugh Davidson. Well, that's a secondary reason. It's good to see you. Well, well. Uh, you. So, talk me through that. I assume you had a rear naked choke. I couldn't see. Uh, mm -hmm. Was it no, nothing, no seatbelt or anything, right? No, no, no. And that was the first thing that I went through uh, from my previous experience. Um, we all know that the first one off usually has the better position. Uh -huh. So I knew that I had to get a hold of my seatbelt and his seatbelt at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, and that gave me the upper hand. And once I could get control of the position and uh, create pressure, then I had time to, to you know, fiddle with the seatbelt and see what type of angle he was giving me. Right. Um, and he got tired of it, you know. And he said, I'm not doing this. <laughs> and bucks up. And when he bucked up, he gave me enough space to get on his back and go through the middle of the seats. Gotcha. So, now, uh, I got a question. The, the, the second round, it looked like you could have got another rear naked choke, but you, I don't know if you were like determined to use the seatbelt because you were in a position, but then you, rather than go for that, you were grabbing the seatbelt. Is yeah, that what was yeah, going yeah, through yeah, your mind? Yeah, that's like one of those, uh, that's like one of those Kimura fakes into an arm bar for uh -huh. all the jujitsu guys that are watching this. Uh -huh. um, it was just baiting him for enough time to see if he was either going to give me the seatbelt or give me the rear naked. So right. both of those and are a, a threat. So I knew I could use that. Okay. And then, and then similar, you guys came out the window. You guys had no regard for your, your body, your personal being. I mean, oh, you no. guys were just... I, that, no. was, that was pretty scary from looking from that side because you guys were, I thought you were just going to land on your head. And, right, uh, right. The referees did a good job getting the mat out under, underneath you, but just you were going for that Kimura. Yeah, you sound like my mom worrying about <laughs> me on my head. So you had that Kimura, but it was different because you didn't have the leverage, right, that you normally do. Yeah, yeah, and it was such an unbalanced position that yeah. I couldn't really uh, get it locked in. So if you notice, I have to pretty much pull him right next to me and then switch hands. Right. And then... He continues to creep out of the van, or excuse me, out of the car uh -huh. like a uh, like a madman. Uh, yeah. So at that point, I kind of gave up and tried to go back in. And when I did, he tried to hit me with the rear naked. Yeah. And I was like, well, 
It's time. Let's have a reset. Well, first, first just, he just got you with a re- He's pulling down. You had a wardrobe malfunction. Now too. <laughs> well, that's that's all part of the game. You know, yeah. <laughs> when you're trying hard, you give up a couple of things. So I'm, I'm willing to give that up. All right, man. Well, congratulations. Look great, just like last time. You Thank got you. a couple more matches coming up, so, yep. so get your rest, all right? Staying pumped. All right. Good job, everybody.